Ooh, I think I'm live this time. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, it would not let me. I clip hide on screen. I clip go to screen. Um, it was not working at all. So, um, yeah, I totally apologize for that. And now I need to add this chat. Hopefully I'm live. Um, I'm going to add this chat to the other chat. So bear with me. I'm really sorry. I went ahead of time. I set up the studio. I went and tried to, um, I had everything tried to, um, I was able to share my screen. I have all my screen, everything was set up and then I go to click live and it would not let me, um, add myself or anything else to the screen. So hopefully, um, everyone will come and find me. <laughs> shortly over here. I apologize for the technical difficulties. Hey, thank you, Lisa. Is this real now? Is this me? This is me. That's live. I'm live. Um, yeah. So now I just need to hopefully people, um, <laughs> we'll go through a really sad experience over on the other live and hopefully find the new live. Hey, G H G T. Welcome in. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lisa. And thank you, my granny's garden for bearing with me. Hopefully, um, if anyone else is stuck over in that other really sad, pathetic chat, um, they will come in. I don't know what happened. Um, I was here and they will get a notification, delete the other streams. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so this is my first time using Malin and it's going great. <laughs> Super awesome. Um, yeah, I thought I would try this today just to change it up and not run out of all my StreamYard time being as I am planning to do quite a few extra lives, um, this week and next week for some Christmas collabs. Um, hopefully have some, uh, other faces on here with me as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully they'll get that notification. Cause they were like, I was like, Oh, it was so nice to see everybody show up. <laughs> and then I couldn't, I couldn't, um, add myself to the screen. So, I was on the screen. I had, I was practicing with my share screen and everything. So hopefully that's all going to work out again. I don't know what happened. Um, I reset it and then I, it just, nothing was going very well. So today's channel, today's topic, we are going to be talking about gift ideas. You can have one other person with you. Okay. So if anyone wants to come up, I, I will drop the link down in the chat. If anyone wants to come up and, um, chat how to, Oh, it's up here. Invite guests. There's my link, copy link. See, yeah, nothing. I couldn't click on anything. Like it was, everything was unclickable before. I couldn't even get um, app links, anything like that. Okay, so yeah, open panel. It's really casual. Uh, I wasn't quite exactly sure how long my work uh, was going to be today. We had a nice short day, so I was able to come on. And I do want to talk about some fun gift ideas. Hey, Sherry. Welcome in, welcome in. Black's Tropical Homestead. Thank you for coming by. Hey, the Blue Pixie. Nice to see you, eh? Good day um welcome in welcome in um yeah so um gift cards that's kind of the first thing i wanted to talk about because i know holidays are coming up and you know there's always a few people on your list that you just don't know what to get right especially i know teenagers can be hard men in your life um people you don't really know so well and to make a homemade gift um it was funny country mom i'm using um alicia was just talking about it you know you go through all this work of making a gift for someone and you give it to them and then they're like eh, they don't like the color they don't really appreciate it and so there's sometimes where you know making a homemade gift is really giving a piece of your of yourself a piece of your heart to someone and there are just some people out there that don't appreciate it and so if I'm going to go through all the work of making a nice little quilt or a sweater or something like that. And you're not going to appreciate it. Then you know what? I would much rather just give a gift card or something like that, that you will actually use. But, um, there are two reasons why I'm not a huge fan of gift cards. And the first one I think is, you know, most people talk about it. it they're, they don't seem very personal. And the second reason, and probably the main reason is you can't get a good deal on a gift card. <laughs> you know, you give someone a $50 gift card, you probably spent $50 on that gift card. So there's no deals. There's no sales hardly ever on gift cards. So I am going to talk about a few ways you can get a good deal on a gift card. And I think, um, you would appreciate a moo. Oh, not in the moo moo still, Chris, eh? <laughs> See, some people really enjoy them and appreciate it. And then other people don't. Right. So, um, and another thing is shipping. And I know here in Canada, shipping is very expensive. And I know that in the US, you all have been talking about raising shipping rates through the holidays. So if someone lives far away um, and you know you don't have a lot 
and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the shipping of it. Um, gift cards are something that you can either stick in an envelope and mail, or a lot of them you can actually just order them online and they will uh, mail them right to the person or email them. So it will save you on shipping and packing and all of that. So um, I do have a couple ideas for some good deals on gift cards, and one of them is to go to Costco. So Costco carries gift cards. They have like a big um, display of them in the middle, kind of by the books, if you haven't really looked at them. And a lot of times they will have some discounted cards. So let's say you can get two $50 gift cards to a restaurant or a spa. Um, and a lot of times the price on that will be $80. So you will save $20. So it's basically getting 20% off. Another fun thing is you can also give Costco gift cards. I don't know if there's any deals on the Costco gift cards, but here's a little something you might not know is that you do not need to have a Costco membership to purchase with a Costco gift card. So if you have someone in your life or your family that's constantly harassing you because you have a Costco card and they don't and they, oh, I need this and I need that and they want you to come with them or they want you to pick it up for them, you can buy them their very own Costco gift card and they can go in and they can buy um, whatever they want with that gift card and they do not have to actually have a Costco membership. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want to buy someone a Costco card and you're like, I don't know if I have a membership or not, doesn't matter. They don't need a membership. Just make sure if you do send them that, let them know, hey, if you don't have a membership, who doesn't have a membership? But if you don't have a membership, <laughs> you can still go in and use the Costco gift card. And another thing that's cool about Costco is you can also go to the prescription, uh, the pharmacy and you do not need to have a Costco membership to use their pharmacy. And their pharmacy is much cheaper than your average drugstore. And I think like here, the dispensing fee is only $3.95 per prescription where most of the other um, regular pharmacies, they are like $12.95. So that's a huge difference. Yeah. Now you just need a Costco. I'm so sorry, Lisa. They deliver, they ship. I don't know if they'll ship to you or not. Um, so I'll drop that link again if anyone wants to come up. I'm not really sure. I'll try and add you. <laughs> I will do my best. If you click on the link and then you're like, so go, you go to purgatory. I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize now if I can't find you um, later on the link. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit now about some ways to make the gift cards more personal. So sometimes you feel like I'm going to give that gift card to someone and it makes you feel like, okay, well, maybe they feel like I don't really know them very well, or I haven't taken the time to, to get to know them or to get to know what they want. It's, it's just it's, a lot of people feel like it's very impersonal, but I think you can make it a very personalized gift um, by just taking a little bit of extra effort. And so I'm going to share this page, hopefully <laughs> with y'all. Okay, so we're going to share the screen and I'm clicking on this one here. Are we coming up? Bum, 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 bum. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here we go. All right. So I think these are some fabulous ways of gift wrapping it. So this is tying in with my whole crafty holiday, crafty collabs is you can still make a gift card crafty and fun by coming up with some fun ideas and ways of wrapping them. I really like this one here. Oh, I have to click over here. <laughs> I love this one here with the mason jar. So you can take a couple mason jars and you know, you can put some candy in it. Um, some of these others like Hershey's Kisses, Jujubes, just make sure if you do something like this, that the gift card is visible at least a little bit so that they don't think that you just gave them like a jar of candy or something. And then they like, you know, re-gift it to somebody else, not knowing that there's a gift card in there. So, um, I will post a link to this below. This is called easy gift wrap gift card wrapping ideas. Um, it's got like a hundred, I think it's got like 110 different ideas on here. So I'm going to jump back over to the chat because I've been talking quite a lot. Uh, who else has joined us? We have Chris from E3. I'm assuming it's Chris. Um, my granny's garden, E3. Doo, 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 scrolling down. Free Handly Made. Hey, Nisi. Welcome in. Thank you so much. The color drop. I think you're new here. Hi. How, uh, welcome, welcome. Let me see who got my hands. It's so cold in the office today. My hands are freezing. I should have worn gloves. <laughs> oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Nisi. Very nice. Yep. 
get working on stuff here so you'll be listening and lurking no problem lisa sounds good get to work chop chop diesel's hungry all right <laughs> so i just thought these were some kind of cute ideas um to, to make the i like this one i think this was really funny so it's elf snot so you just wrap the gift card in some slime and then the kids the kids would absolutely love this have to get the gift card out of the slime super easy ideas but um, so this is kind of where I'm going with the whole making things more um, personalized. So let's say you have someone on your wish list who has, uh, maybe they got a new sewing machine for Christmas or they're getting a new sewing machine for Christmas. And so you want to go and, you know, buy them a gift card that they can use. So let's say you go and buy them a Joanne's gift card, right? Diesel. Has <laughs> Thank you, Diesel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, I, now all I need is Grant listening in. Um, okay, so let's say you know you know someone that um, is into is into crafting, and so you want to buy them a gift card, and so you buy them a gift card for say Joanne's or Hobby Lobby or here in Canada Fabricland, or you know someone that is into gardening, and let's say you okay, I'll go back to the sewing one. <laughs> so what you do is you go and you buy the gift card, and you come up with you know a cute little way like this, maybe wrap it in a fat quarter or something. To give it to them but write a little note explaining like why or what they can use it towards right so write a little note to, to the person you know i heard you got it you were getting a new sewing machine or you wanted to get back into sewing here is a little card hopefully you can go and find something that you like with it um like let's say you know someone that wants to build some maybe some raised beds in their garden next summer or next spring right and you're not going to ship them you know some raised beds so maybe you you think you know you you've heard that they want to do this so you know you just send them a home depot gift card and they're like oh thanks for the you know home depot or lowe's gift card or whatever it is but if you spend a minute and just write a little note in with it and say you know um i know that you wanted to make some raised flower beds or some raised beds for your garden and i just wanted to be part of that journey i wanted to help you out so here is a Home Depot gift card to help you purchase the lumber or the soil and you don't have to tell them exactly what they have to spend it on you don't want to give rules but I just think by kind of adding a little note to it it just shows that you are interested in that person you know what things that they like um, and I don't know just to me it seems like you're you're giving a little bit more um, personalization to the gift um, if someone, you know, into gardening, you could do one of these little mason jars and you could put in, you know, some packs of seeds in there. Uh, you could get a gift card that's very specific to something that they're interested in, right? Like if you know that they really are interested in getting some new seeds, uh, give them a gift card for maybe Baker Creek or get them a Baker Creek catalog and stick a gift card in there with that. So you can use gift cards in a great way to help someone out, but you can also make it a little bit more personal, right? exactly so how do you guys feel about gift cards do you give gift cards do you not give gift cards I'm really torn right now because um, you know shipping and and it's hard to know what what someone wants right like you give someone something and it's like what you know what if you make something what if you buy something for them and they get it and they just don't like it or it doesn't fit into their into their into their space or into their decor and um, yeah money yeah, but you can't really send money through the mail. Well, you're not supposed to. <laughs> so yeah, money is a great way to give uh, give to gift cards. Um, yeah, I've kind of like I appreciate gift cards now more as I've gotten older. And I have like, you know, pretty much I buy what I need. And then it's nice to have gift cards. Um, no gifts this year. Ah, oh, man, I'm off. I'm off Lisa's list. Ah, oh, man. PayPal works too. But see, yeah. And then, then you get like, oh, it's, you know, I, I don't know. I'm someone that likes to make things and give things. And so for me, that just, so yeah, for PayPal, um, I would probably have to write a little note to go with it. <laughs> Maybe a little card as well. Um, just to make it like, listen, I, I do know what you're interested in. I do know what you like. Uh, I'm not just sending this because I, I don't know any of that. Um, Baker Crift Catalog Club. It is a huge gift. And I'm actually, um, I went to the store today to get some steaks that were on sale. And I couldn't find their um, magazine section because I've heard that the Baker Creek catalog has hit the stores here in Canada and uh, I couldn't find their magazine section at all. Like, I don't know where it went. Like they, they're constantly remodeling this place. So I'm going to keep an eye out again. Um, we do gift cards for someone. We have no clue what to get them. And they tell us you don't have to get us anything. Exactly. Um, I tend to wander about the internet and the local markets and see something catches my eye and think it's, yep. 
Yep. Uh, homemade is better. I can't argue that. Well, I mean, but it, 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 in some ways it's better. In some ways it's not. If people don't appreciate a homemade gift or you make them something and they don't like it, then it's not better. <laughs> right? It might make you feel better. Um, but yeah, I got the catalog to see, I didn't pre-order it. I didn't order it this year because, um, they started charging a uh, $12 shipping to Canada. So that's a new thing that Baker Creek is doing um, this year, unfortunately for us here in Canada. But I mean, I can't say that I blame them because honestly, people were taking oh, so much advantage of it. Right. And, um, so I do, so we've kind of touched on gift cards some, I, and I think these are some really cute ideas on how to make them special. I know you can also go to the, like the dollar store and they'll have cute little gift card cards and little tins and stuff like that. So don't just think that just because you're giving a gift card, you know, it's, it's not going to be personalized. You can add a little note, let people know that you, you care and, and maybe add something along with it, maybe some seeds or whatever. Um, I have a running gag with my brother-in-law who loves chilies and I find him new chili sauces every year. This year, a YouTuber friend made some, so he's getting those. Very cool. That's nice. It's really nice when people have, um, you know, a theme or are easy to buy. Like I'm super easy to shop for, right? Like I have so many hobbies and crafts um, that I love. Anything pug related, anything with flip flops, anything with hibiscus, anything gardening related, anything sewing related. <laughs> so I'm one of those people who are super easy to shop for. My husband, on the other hand, is very, very hard to shop for because he says, one, don't buy me anything. And two, he buys, you know, what he wants when he sees it. And usually he wants something, he wants it to be on sale. He wants it to be a good deal. So to shop for him is really difficult. Um, also because we're together most of the time, <laughs> we work together and then, you know, on the way home, we'll stop at a store or whatever. So he's there. It's like, <laughs> turn away, go in your own aisle. Um, makes it a little difficult to buy him things when we're out too. $12 for shipping. Well, yeah. So it used to be free shipping from Baker Seed, um, the, the seeds and the catalog. Everything was just free shipping to Canada. And then last month or so they changed it and they added um, $12 shipping. So um, I don't blame them because I know a lot of people would be like they'd order some, you know, five seeds on Monday and then Thursday they'd order five more seeds. And then a couple weeks later they'd order a few more. And, you know, I know that, you know, the shipping is kind of into the cost a bit, but with the cost of shipping and the cost of everything going up, Baker Creek just couldn't keep eating that. So what this will do is it will force people to stop making tons of small orders and it will force you to make one big order, which is much more cost effective for them in the long run. Um, I mean, they could have even just made it a, li a, you know, a limited order, like free shipping over and they might, they might do like a free shipping over $30 or $40 at some point, or maybe like a free shipping code at some point. So I will keep an eye out for that. But because of all of that, I just thought, you know what, I'll just wait until the catalogs come into the stores here and I will just pick it up because actually I think it's, um, someone said they saw it at Sobeys and it was $10 Canadian. Whereas I would have to order the, the catalog would be $12 us plus shipping. So I'd be paying $24 us which is probably closer to like $30 Canadian. So that's going to work out for me. Hey, Weeha, how are you? Hey, Joe. You know what? I was just thinking about you, Joe. You want to know why? My husband just handed this to me right before I went live. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to show Joe. So should I open it right now? These are from my winnings um, a couple weeks ago on Joe's live. So if you're not um, if you don't, follow, I think everyone in here follows you, Joe, if you don't follow garden state gardener, what are you waiting for? Joe goes live every Sunday night. Let me just pop you up on there. Garden. Let me get your link, Joe garden state. He goes live every Sunday night and he does giveaways. He does seed giveaways. He does all kinds of stuff. Um, okay. So unfortunately this tab, okay. Garden state, there we go. The tab was blocking the thing. Here we go. Here's Joe's channel. I will drop that link because apparently, I don't know, I don't have any mods in here today. And there we go. Boom. There's Joe's link. If you don't follow Joe, go on over and check him out. Sunday nights. It's fun. It gets kind of crazy in there. All right. So I'm opening it up. Congratulations from the Garden State Gardener. And I won, oh, these are cute. These are called Sean's Yellow Dwarf. Whoop, can you see them? 
So those look like fairly decent sized tomatoes. I don't know why I'm saying that because there's nothing in the picture to give me a reference of the size. <laughs> Just the shape. They look more like a normal um, tomato instead of like super round like. Uh... So yeah, I know that there are some dwarf tomato plants that grow full size tomatoes, which is super cool. So I am planning on growing more dwarf tomatoes this year because I want to be able to start them sooner and put them in pots and get tomatoes sooner. So I will be starting um, seeds um, January. Right after I get all my Christmas stuff put away, I will be starting my um, seeds. Oh, I also have, ah, oh, I just blocked my elbow. Um, I also got my broccoli seeds that are going to be getting started soon too. I'm going to be starting all of my dwarf seeds and all of my... Um, peppers all of my peppers last year I did my peppers um, some of my peppers early like end of January and those did amazing and then the rest I had to do later because I didn't get them until later and they took forever so everything's getting started in probably mid-January all my peppers hey Nikki welcome in welcome in thank you so much thanks for stopping by so we were just talking about um, gift cards and I'm just showing on the screen some fun different ways of making giving a gift cards a little bit more exciting than just here you go um, not that there's anything wrong with that <laughs> I started my seeds last week even watermelon I mean oh my goodness yeah but you can plant out a lot sooner than we can right <laughs> my for my last frost date is May 9th but we don't usually plant anything um, until after like the May 2 4 long weekend so third week in May is usually when it's safe but last year May 28th, we had snow. Yes, we did. We had snow May 28th of last year, and I'm still angry about it. <laughs> so what happened for that was we ended up losing, I ended up losing my, um, what was it? It was my loofah and my cucamelons. So everything else, uh, I was shocked, managed to survive through the snow but um yeah so that was i'm trying to show the video see if i have a video i, I know i took a video clip but i think that maybe it just ended up over oh no here it is here it is let's see if we can't share this um back to sharing okay all my gardening friends so we are currently sitting uh, may 28th 2021 it is three degrees celsius or oh no we're gonna go okay sorry Fahrenheit. bear with me i'm new to this and i don't know if you can tell but yeah that's snow Okay, so we're going to try it. I'm going to try one more time. On all my poor little I'm babies. They're all sitting out here thinking, screen. what is going on? Oi. Good luck, babies. It's not going to work. It's not going to let me show that screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll have to take my word for it. You'll have to take my word for it. But no. Uh, yeah, we got snow on May 28th. So gt knows what i'm talking about right just <laughs> don't want to get anything started too soon so i don't want to start my regular tomatoes too soon because then they're going to get enormous and um, very very hard to manage um, before i can get them in the ground but my dwarf tomato seeds i will be getting in okay so now um the next thing i want to talk about are some teacher gifts and oh welcome in thank you blind guy and his wife i am it. hi everyone i'm listening and lurking from a meeting Ooh, we won't tell we won't tell. It's three degrees Fahrenheit here, but it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, three degrees. Yikes. Yeah, I think Dad said they were warming up a bit yesterday, but I don't know. Um, we're not bad here. We we've, we've actually been we've had pretty pretty decent weather here, so I can't complain too much. So I do want to talk a bit about some teacher gifts, and I will tell you right now, teachers are tired of mugs. They don't need any more mugs. They don't need any more coffee cups. They don't need any more dishes. They don't need. Um, any more little picture frames or candles or knickknacks <laughs> because um, I have some friends that are teachers and um, they get so many of these things and I know I've I've been guilty of it myself I've gone to winners which is like um, Marshall's home sense Ross that kind of place and you see this really cute mug and it says something cute and you go and you put some chocolates in it and you bring it and then you look and it's like 10 other people in the class did the same thing and so a lot of times teachers get inundated with with these things and they have nowhere to put them and like my neighbor who is a teacher and worked in the area as well she's like I can't even have a garage sale because I can't sell anything <laughs> you know uh, in the neighborhood at a garage sale because they don't want to um, you know hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that so 
Um, yeah, so, you know, gift cards are always uh, appreciated for teachers. Um, but, you know, maybe think outside the box. Uh, if you know that they like to go to Tim Hortons or Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks in the mornings, then that's a great choice. They, they will appreciate it. Um, depending on how your child behaves, you might want to give them one to the liquor store. Uh, another uh, kind of a creative idea for teachers that you might not think of is the dollar store or Michael's um, if they like to do a lot of crafts, um, arts and crafts and things like that with, with the students. So uh, just, you know, again, thinking outside the box, right? You're on a five minute break from a Zoom meeting. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you here. And uh, feel free to chime in if you have any ideas um, as well. So these are going to be some DIY teacher gifts and they are going to be mainly sewing related. If you are not into sewing, I apologize, but these are some great ideas. Um, it's something that you can um, even look at, you know, look in the dollar store for or look at, you know, um, you know, Amazon, something cheap, but some ideas that are useful um, teacher gifts and things that you can easily make yourself or your kids can help you make. So this is from a website called Apple Green Cottage and she is over in Europe and she has an amazing uh, website. She's got several, she has, look at the top here, this link, I don't know if you can see it, but it says 100 plus free patterns. So she offers a lot of free patterns and free tutorials. And I have had uh, the privilege of doing a few pattern tests um, for some of her items. So I'll point those out, <laughs> the ones that I have made uh, myself, her directions are all really, really easy to follow along. Um, so one of the first and easiest gifts, ideas, and this would be a fun one to add to like a little um, gift card for a coffee shop, is the um, Coffee Cozy pattern. So Coffee Cozies, hold up, did you say the liquor store? Yes, I did say the liquor store, LCBO here in Canada, we call it the LCBO. Um, it is the Liquor Board of Ontario. And yeah, a lot of people happen to give, um, hey, gardening and cocktails would be very happy to receive a gift card to the liquor store, right? Right on time. <laughs> Welcome in, thank you so much, uh, Joy. Nice to see you here. Uh, so here we go. A, cozy coffee pattern. So these are ideas like if you can sew and you want to make these ideas, it's great. If you have someone in your life or you have a neighbor or you have a friend that has a little side hustle that likes to sew things, you know what? Hit them up. Say, hey, I want to support local. I need a few teacher gifts. Can you make me something, right? Oh, definitely. Wine, liquor, yes. Nikki, <laughs> yes, please. What were your favorite things to get um, as a teacher? Favorite teacher gifts? Amazon gift cards. Exactly. Yep. I, I don't know why I forget about Amazon gift cards, but um, Amazon is probably one of the most uh, usable gift cards. Um, these I think are super cute. And maybe, you know, uh, you know, maybe if you have a kid that loves to read or you have friends, these are great little stocking stuffers. These don't have to just be for teachers. They can also be for friends um, or your kids' friends too, right? These are super cute. They just slide onto a book, quick, easy to make. Free glass case pattern. I have not used this pattern. But traditionally, at the end of the year, when we give a teacher gift, I make a sunglass pack um, case out of fabric, and then we go to the dollar store, and my daughter picks out some like funky, crazy sunglasses, and we plop them in, and we give those as the end of the year gift um, to the teachers. That reminds me of doing liquor to make it through the last hour of this meeting. <laughs> get it. <laughs> go over there and get it for sure. Yes. Wine, liquor. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Okay. So these are just some more ideas. Okay. I love this one here. So this is a cute little boxy pencil case, but I don't know if you can see right here, but this is a strap. So this is a bit of elastic. And so this pencil case actually is going to hook onto the front of your binder or your book. This would be great for someone that's into journaling and drawing. This is a perfect gift idea for a tween, um, anyone that's into things like that. Food gift ideas. Yes, homemade um, snacks, things like that. Although I know so many people um, with food allergies, it's tricky, you know. Um, DIY pencil cases. Everyone can always use an extra pencil case. These little zipper pouches are super cute. They come in two sizes. They're boxy. These make great gifts for men. Um, I know sewing for men can be very difficult. It's so easy to sew gifts for women and for kids, but for men, um, Pick a fabric, pick a sports fabric, sports team that the man in your life or a male teacher likes. And these make great little toiletry bags. So I've made my husband a similar one uh, several years ago. Anytime we go anywhere on a trip or whatever, that's what he puts all of his, his um, toiletries in. And last year, um, nope, 
two years ago, I made my dad a really nice, it's called a dop bag. Um, I made my dad a really nice one out of leather and he uses that all the time. Tote bags. So this is my go-to, um, gift idea for teachers at Christmas time. Um, ever, you know, all my, my daughter's in grade seven now. And so all of our teachers, <laughs> um, pretty much, I think throughout the years, um, I started making tote bags, um, as a Christmas gift. And so the first year I done it as the end of the year gift. So I did the tote bag at the, at the end of the year. And I was like, well, why am I waiting till the end of the year? <laughs> I'd rather give the big gift at Christmas. And then at the end of the year, I'll do something smaller. Usually, um, the sunglass case with fabric that matched the tote bag that I made them at Christmas. This one here, I think is a really cute idea. And if you see the shape of this, the way it's kind of got just like a circular shape that is so that it fits slides right onto your arm. And so this is amazing for anyone that does any crocheting or knitting because they can keep the yarn down here in here and they slide their arm through there and then you can just like knit or crochet on the go. Like if you like to do it, if you're on the bus or you take the train or you do it in the car or at the desk, um, it just, it keeps everything nice and tidy and neat. So this is a great idea. Um, and so there's links to all of these patterns, um, below it all. And this cute, this is a cute little hand. You can sew this up. It's a Christmas, uh, gift card holder. Um, very simple. You could actually just use fabric glue. If you wanted to, you could make this out of felt from the dollar store and a little bit of fabric glue or hand sew it hand baskets. These are super cute. So let's say you don't know how to sew and you have no interest in sewing, <laughs> but you can take some of these ideas. So this is a really cute little baskets. You can go to the dollar store and you could find a super cute basket and you could put in some school supplies. So maybe, um, you know, a box of tissue, some pencils, things like that, wrap it up, box of chocolates, whatever, and, and make something really fun like that. Um, candles too, but you have to know the person to get this. And yeah, see some people love vanilla. Some people hate vanilla. I know it makes it really tricky. I, I know gift giving is very, um, I love, uh, edible, edible arrangements. <laughs> oh, not edibles. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> my gift idea is just checking out the, the cat, uh, chat here that I missed. My gift ideas for teachers are gift cards for food, gas. Oh, that's interesting. I had never thought of a gas card, cash card, also seeds so they can plant their own flowers. Consumable gifts are great as well. I do like the idea of consumable gifts. I just know, especially this year, um, people I think are a little more concerned about anything like that. I don't know, but, um, uh, candles. Let me see. I'm going back through. I can't click on the links to get the comments up on the screen. Like I can in Streamyard. So I'm doing great precious. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Um, see, I love the smell of candles, but we don't light any candles in the house. I'm kind of paranoid about it burning the house down and, um, gizmo, our dog is very sensitive to scents and smells. So we don't use any kind of candles or air fresheners or anything like that. So, Hey, welcome into your chat and connect. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they're totally legal here in Canada. So that could like really, yeah, <laughs> I could be the mom of the year. Woohoo. Um, so this, this is one I have made. I have made this cute little fabric, um, uh, mini bin, um, let me see her. Here's the template. Here is their pattern. It is a free pattern and, um, they are super cute. I made some for my daughter, um, several years ago, just trying to see if there's any more pictures of it. Um, I have pictures on my website as well. Uh, when I made these and, um, oh, see, here's a bigger shot of the other one there. So, um, yeah, these are super cute and you can do, um, different fabrics that can be, they're reversible little DIY notebooks. How sweet are those little pencil cap pouch? Um, I love all these little kinds of trays, things that you could put on the, you know, the desk as a teacher, you could do in and out trays and make them customize scarves, scrunchies. Who knew, who knew scrunchies would be back, right? There's, that's a store that sells fruit baskets called edible. Yeah, I know. I just, when I saw it, it just, <laughs> sorry about that. And they're legal in Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't, I, uh, I don't know if it's a great idea. Okay. Neck warmer free pattern. I'm going to be making myself a new one of these. I don't have any up here. I make these every year 
and they are so amazing and so cozy. So it's like all the warmth of a scarf without all the hassle. Um, so I know sometimes scarves can be kind of dangerous. They can get hooked in the door. You know, you can get hooked in the elevator and strangled to death. Um, did you see that episode of Monk? That was an episode. So it's, it's a, it's a real fear that some people have. I've seen people driving with a scarf, like caught out the window and that, or out in the door. Right. So these are like a neck cozy. They are super, super fast and easy to make. And I honestly don't see why you could not make this with just iron on, um, fabric tape or, um, fabric glue. So I'm going to say you could probably make this a completely no sew uh, method. Basically, you just take two um, rectangles of fabric and you sew them right sides together, flip them inside out, and you make, it's like a tube. And you just slide it on over your head like this, and it just sits right here. And I like to make mine high so that you can pull it up over the nose um, because that's always what gets cold on me. But now that everyone's wearing a mask, um, you, you know, uh, it's not as important. But I, um, I made one out of fleece. It's downstairs. I made one out of um, fleece for my husband for Christmas last year or two years ago, and he never uses it, so I stole it and I use it. So I'm going to be making uh, more. You can make them small. I made some for my husband's cousins, and I made the whole family like matching ones, and they wear them all the time, especially for kids. Um, they're great uh, because you don't have to worry about them like getting tangled up or tied or twisted or whatever, and they don't get dragged behind in the snow and get all wet. Um, they go in and out of the wash really, really quick and easy. So I am going to be doing more of these, um, for myself, actually, I'm going to make one, um, I'm going to make the headband one. So I think we have a headband here and then, um, the neck band. So I've already made the headband with my Christmas fabric. So I'm going to make a matching neck band to go with it. And then I'm going to be making myself another like warmer set out of the uh, flannel or the fleece, um, for winter when it gets really cold and I'm going to work and I don't want to wear my fancy I show up at job at the job site in my <laughs> in my scrubby coat, my pants, and my boots, and then my fancy Christmas scarves. No, so these are a great idea. And if you know anyone that sews and you want, uh, you know, to order uh, order something like that, these are great. Heating pads. These are really fun. You can throw them. Uh, put put rice or corn. I have one with corn, not popcorn feed corn and you throw it in the microwave, you heat it up and it's just really nice and cozy um, for winter time. These are little hand warmers. So these are the same idea. Um, you can fill them up with rice and throw them in the microwave and send them to your kids going to the um, bus stop. Large messenger bag. Okay, so now we're getting into a little bit more. <laughs> if you're new to sewing, uh, these might be a little bit more difficult, but I can guarantee you right now that her free messenger bag pattern, she has great step-by-step um, instructions, uh, makeup, little makeup bags, zipper pouches, uh, DIY drawstring organizer pouch. These are great for makeup. Um, sometimes I don't know if this one exactly has the, um, pockets in it, but these are also, let me just scroll down and see. These are also really, really great for kids toys. So if you have a kid that likes to take little dolls with them or like little, um, my daughter was obsessed with like Polly pocket stuff or like little little stuff that they like to take with them you can open it up and like if you go somewhere and they have like little you know they can play in it and then when you want to clean up you just go whoop and everything stays really nicely and contained and they're really great for um so yeah so it's just a i mean really simple you're making your holes uh button foots most sewing machines today have a one-step buttonhole or you can do this um, nice little grommet here and i will admit that one of her patterns that's probably coming up soon um, was my first time doing a, a grommet ever in a pattern. I was doing a pattern test for her and it called for a grommet. And so I had to go and get a grommet and I did it and I was like, oh, this is really cool and actually super easy to make. So um, this here is so cute. How cute is this? So it's a little bag. You could make these. These would be perfect for a gift for like in the car, a little trash bag or to keep pencils, anything like that. You can hook it, hook it on something. And this is a really nice um, tote bag. This is a little bit more <laughs> advanced than some of the others, but again, if you're into sewing, whatever. All right, GT, thank you so much. Gotta go. All right, I'm glad to have you here for all these freezing temperatures. Uh, G GT's in, uh, in Anchorage. Well, outside of Anchorage, he's in Fairbanks. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, Michigan's 33. Oh, that's nice. What are we at today? Let me see. It wasn't too bad this morning. It was 22 
um, degrees this morning when we left for work, but it wasn't windy. So we are sitting out right now. We are sitting at 28. He's Anchorage. Okay. Oh no, I got an ice cube. Sorry about that. Okay. Now this here, this is a pattern that is, I gotta get rid of this ice cube. That is a no sew. Okay. All you need is some felt and some glue. And how cute is that little poinsettia? So this is something that would be really cute. You could put it on a headband. You could put it on a clip. You could put it on string and make it a little ornament. You could put it on a um, gift instead of a regular bow. Honestly, it's a few cuts with some felt that you can get at the dollar store or Joann's. And I just think that little poinsettia ornament is super, super cute. And then, yeah, she even has like a, like a video of how to make it, right? So she has the step-by-step. -step. You download. Here's your little pattern. You can see here. You can click on it. And then, oh, no, that didn't happen. Sorry. We'll go back to the other one. <laughs> but she just takes you step-by-step -step how to make your cute little shapes. Super easy to make. Anyone can do this, right? Yeah, 33 is good for us right now. We even got, ooh, 50 is coming. Yeah, I heard we're supposed to be warm next week. My husband said that, and I was afraid to look. <laughs> in case he was wrong um let me just check our weather we, we look um wow so it looks like saturday we have a high of uh oh thursday tomorrow is a high of 50 and then friday we're going up to 40 we'll be at 45 and then we drop back down to the 30s um on saturday oh no that's next week's so, oh my gosh so this week we're going to be uh, 55 on Saturday. Oh my goodness. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> I'll have to go. We will go for a hike somewhere or something. Do something outside. That'll be really nice. 42 in Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a really, really warm fall. We have a bit of snow on the ground again. We did get, I don't know if anyone saw my um, video on Instagram, but we like it blew in and then it like looks all soft and pretty now that it's blooming, but blooming, snowing, but um, yeah. We wake up in the 60s. It's saying hi, 70s by the weekend. Our coldest month is in February. I am Sherry and I'm rubbing it in. <laughs> I know, Sherry, I know. I lived in Florida for three years and I absolutely loved it. I love the weather. <laughs> I love the beach. I love living in Florida. So don't ask me why I'm in Canada. All right, so a couple more really quick um, ideas. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> These are so cute. And again, if you want, you can use um, glue, fabric glue and you could make these with fabric glue and just some cute little fabric that you picked up at Walmart or um, anywhere like that. Yeah, I'm totally mocking them. <laughs> hey, I saw G Mama go after them the other day, so I know they're fair game, right? Yeah. All right. So these mittens, oh my God, I have to make these mittens. I think they are so cute. And I have some really cute Christmas fabric. Do I have anything handy? Um, Cause like I'm sitting here in my, my sewing room, but um, I even have this, this is kind of cute. Um, like a flannel -y, Christmas -y, um little dotted fabric that I have. I had all my stuff out. Oh, here's some, here's some flannel for Sherry. Sherry would like this flannel. I've hoarded this for years because I never know what to make with it because it's flannel. So flannel is for something kind of warm, wintry, but I got sucked into the tropical print. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, you can't see it. There we go. So I absolutely love this. It's got hibiscus on it. It's so pretty. It's so bright. And yet I don't know what to make. I can never think of anything to make for it with it because... You use flannel to make warm things. So I don't know. I can make a neck scarf, right? Do you think that would look silly out in the snow wearing a hibiscus um, neck scarf and dreaming of, dreaming of a warmer place? <laughs> let me see. Oh, that, I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot I was on the tiny screen. Okay. Let me go. Um, I'll hide that one. Here we go. I forgot. See? So it's like this really pretty tropical fabric and then I have a matching oh I don't have it in here 
I don't have it here right now, but I have a matching. It's just like a green, kind of a light green, dark green polka dot that goes with it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I forgot I was the tiny screen. And then I have kind of like this little Christmassy, um, you know, something like that would make a really cute, these cute, these mittens would be amazing with that fabric. They would be so cute. So yeah, you would basically, anytime she says to sew um, on the pattern, you would just use um, glue. You can buy um, fabric glue and honestly you would just where she says to sew you buy the fabric glue you turn it inside out this would be really cute and these would be even super cute oh they come in three sizes so you could make one oh my god okay you can make one of these big enough to where you could stick a gift card inside oh my god i'm showing you i'm pointing to them and <laughs> i don't have it on the screen again <laughs> Yeah, I'm not used to this whole screen sharing thing. Wait, wait, what's happening? Oh, no. Hey, Jesse, welcome in. Oh, I got to show. Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoop, I'm wearing my Lazy Days Ahead shirt. And I was hoping you were going to pop by because I have a mail call video that I'll be sharing. But they sent me, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you how much I've eaten so far. Um, <laughs> they sent me some of their amazing homemade cowboy candy how awesome is that and then this so this it's very noisy um this is super cute it's like a doorbell you stick it on the door it's doorbell chimes you hear it so uh, sydney wants to stick it on gizmo but i don't think he'll be <laughs> stick it on gizmo's tail i don't think he'll be too appreciative of that so i have it hanging on the the door so thank you so much jesse and lisa that was so so nice of you um oh Thank you so much, Lisa, at Yogi Hollow Farm. Say hi to Diesel for me. And take care. Thank you so much for coming in. So we are just talking about some fun little DIY gift ideas. And I am highlighting Miss Danica from Apple Green Cottage. And she is not live with us right now because, like I said, she is in Europe. And she is probably sound asleep right now. But that's okay. <laughs> and then I think this is a super cute, very simple little stocking. If someone in your life needs to needs a stocking again you could probably make this with um iron on um you can use iron on hem tape uh or does she have a no sew version of it i don't know if it says in there but you'd be amazed what you can use with this uh with fabric glue fabric glue works amazing and and something like this like it, you know it's not going to get a lot of wear and tear it should be just fine right so okay my granny's guard. Love the shirt. Thank you. Isn't it so nice? It's really nice and it's super soft and comfy and I love it. My daughter always makes fun of me when I wear my merch. But, um, oh, and speaking of merch, I have, I do have some, some merch up on, um, two different websites. I haven't really, I haven't really, um, done a lot with it yet. I have ideas in my head for a few more and then I forgot what some of those ideas were and I wish I'd written it down. But, um, do you guys want me to show you what I do have so far? It's kind of funny um, and a little naughty, but that's super naughty. So I am using, uh, I'm, I'm trying two different um, companies. I'm using Redbubble um, because Redbubble um, advertises. So anything that you design that you put up onto your site, onto Redbubble, um, automatically goes into their whole search engine. So anyone that comes to that website and wants to search t-shirts or they type in gardening, it will show everything um, on that. And it also goes into some, um, into like Google searches and everything. So um, like Teespring and Spreadshirt, they do not do that. <laughs> so those ones, uh, you have to do all of the promoting, whereas Redbubble does a lot of the promoting for you. Um, but, and they have a much larger selection of items. Like they have shower curtains. They <laughs> I don't know who would ever want a Brampton Gardener shower curtain, but it's available apparently. Um, <laughs> Spreadshirt is the other one that I'm using because they have better quality um, products like t-shirts and things like that, but they don't have um, a lot of uh, as much selection. So, and those are like every, it just would direct, anything would come directly from your own link. So uh, I'm putting up some of the funnier ones up on Red on um, Redbubble uh, more for like just, you know, to get it out there. Um, not so much just like my 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 store merch idea. So I'm going to see if I can't find my shop. Here we are. And Red 
bubble. It it's kind of weird the way it shows how to do things. So we are going to show it in the stream. So here's if you type on um and I'm on Redbubble. I am Brampton Garden um, because I don't know if I have an affiliate link for Redbubble. Does Redbubble do affiliate links? <laughs> because um, I can get one probably if they do that. So I am Brampton Garden because Gardener was too long of a title. So they do limit um, the size of your uh, store name. So here's, here's the one I had fun with. Um, we had been talking, I have been playing around with this. So this is the saying, I like experimenting in the greenhouse. So this you can get on caps, shirts, so they have it on t-shirts. I think it's super cute as a sticker. Um, if it loads, right? So they have like the stickers, they have caps, they have iPhone cases. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in doing like your own store, um, they do masks. Right. So you can have your label put on any, and now I'm out of my store again. Um, I do find it's a little awkward getting around the shop so you can search by, so I have the, the same, um, I like experimenting in the greenhouse. I have the colored version, which goes good on like lighter colors. And then I have the all white one, which goes on the darker colors. So this one, I don't think I have available as a sticker because it just did not look good as a sticker at all. Um, so then back to the shirts. So then here is my logo one. And I don't know why they're showing it on a cap. I keep telling them to change it to like the t-shirt because I think it looks better on a shirt or the hoodie. Um, but the prices are all, you know, when you log in Canadian or American or whatever. So there's the hoodie and some t-shirts. So these are the red bubble one. If you like hats, there you go. Um, so yeah, so here's the logo. And then the other fun one I did. Yeah, I, I don't know, like you, I just keep, oh no, not dashboard. So you keep going into view shop and then you can just choose by the, um, so this was the other fun one I did was just plan first, ask questions later. So you can put this as a shirt um, as a sticker. So when I go in to design, like you can, it'll show you like all the different products that are available. And then you can just be like, um, you know, here, I'll show you. So let's say you go into, so you go into your dashboard. Um, because it was a little bit of a learning curve figuring how to set things up. Okay. So let's say we want to do, um, this one here, the logo. So you click on the right hand corner up here and I can go in and edit. And this is going to show you all of the products that they offer. Um, tiny humans are waking up from their naps. Ah! <laughs> you make that sound terrifying. <laughs> you make that sound terrifying. I'm so glad I'm past that night, that phase now. Sorry, I got to readjust my legs. I got to get a pillow. I got to sit on a pillow. Mine sometimes getting this chair can be very uncomfortable. I gotta get a better chair. Oh, now I gotta lower it because I'm too high. <laughs> so um, this is what you can do. So you can go and in, in through and you can enable um, whatever you think your outfit looks good on. So they have options here, a chiffon top. Like who's gonna want a chiffon top with my logo on it? Like some of it's just kind of crazy. Oh, thanks Jess. <laughs> I hadn't even thought to, to link it. I was just showing uh, wh where I'm at in the process of this point, right? So you can do uh, like desk mats, you can do pillows, you can do mouse pads. Um, when you do, <laughs> the shower curtain cracks me up. <laughs> why, why would I want a shower curtain? <laughs> My husband comes home one day and it's like our whole bathroom is decorated in Brampton Gardner swag. Oh gosh, that would be funny. Um, so here, like, like this, let's say this, let's say you want to enable, this is a um, pouch, laptop, sleeve, and skin. You can see how the logo is going up and about above it. So what you would do is you would go in here, down here to edit it. And then that's where you're going to just change the size of your image. Um, 
to fit and to, to play around with it. So th they do have it. It's very easy to modify. Um, and like this, I'm like, it looks terrible on this kind of a thing. So I'm just, it's going to stay disabled. Like no one, I'm not going to even offer that. Um, right. And so I went in like the, the travel mugs, you go in and you want to scale them to where it's the right size. Um, scarves. <laughs> I know they have so many options on this website though. Um, and honestly, it doesn't cost you a thing to add and enable as much. And you never know. Someone might be like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted, you know, a scarf with, you know, some YouTube merch on it. They have clocks, they have hardcover journals, they have spiral notebooks, there are art boards, coasters, throw blankets, bath mat. Oh, see, look, I could do the bath mat with the shower. <laughs> um, bags, buttons, pins, face masks. I think that mask is kind of cute. Um, aprons. So you do have to play around like with this, the, the sizing on the apron where you want the, where you want it to sit. Um, right. So, uh, I found it was very easy to set up. Um, <laughs> these leggings. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that'd be funny. You can do socks, you can do backpacks, um, duffel bags, fitted masks. So like there is a massive amount on here. Um, you know, and if it's something you wanted to give away as gifts as well, you could just order, you know, one of them right from your site and, and send it away. So this is what Redbubble offers. Like each thing you upload, you can click on as many of these as you want. Um, they have several different types, um, right? But when it comes to the, the, the clothing, they have... It, it's pretty unisex um, type t-shirts. Whereas um, Spreadshirt, if I could type. So I'll go into the Spreadshirt link. Um, oh, and order now, it's 15% off. <laughs> um, shops, we'll just punch in Brampton Gardener. No sales yet, no, because I haven't shared it yet. Okay, so. <laughs> Here are the different designs. Let me see if I can find where to show my shop because now I'm in. Here we are. So this one comes in. It's a little bit more, I don't know, user friendly, I think, for the user um, to find the different T-shirts. So I do have like the old style uh, logo here and my new logo. And I literally have gone in and... So yeah, you can see like the water bottle, it's not even available on that one because the color was off. So if I go into my own like settings and let's say we're going to go in with this color one here and I click edit and now I'm going into the wrong spot. Why do I go into the shirts? <laughs> I can't figure out where I went before. Um, did I just go in? Yes. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So this shows you all the things that I have chosen for this logo and you can go in to each one. They have several different options of shirts available. You can adjust the size of your design. You can choose which products you want this color available on. Like it doesn't look good on the oatmeal. It does not look good on the white. So you would go down here and you would just not offer it available in those kind of like lighter colors so that no one gets it, no one orders it. And then they're like, oh, I love white or whatever. I want a white t-shirt. And then it comes to them and it looks terrible um, because it doesn't show up. So they have a lot more options like that. Um, the print areas they'll show you on there. The other cool thing is when you go to buy something, so let's go back to the shop. Okay, we're going to discard changes because I, I wasn't paying attention to what I was actually doing. So let's say you go in here and you like this, but you're like, oh, I don't, I don't want this or that. So what you can do is you can add it to the cart and the customer themselves can actually go in and edit. They can customize the shirt. So they can decide, oh, I want it bigger. I want it like this. Um, I want to add text to it. Like they can literally go in and kind of change it a bit to how they like it and then print it, which I think is pretty cool as long as they don't go and, you know, do anything drastic with it. Right. Um, you like cats, tiny humans are, oh, sorry, got a notification. Um, yeah, so that's, I'm just kind of playing around with it. I haven't really gone live with it. I do, I, I should, I just want to get a few more ideas on 
screen and I was just really trying to, you know, get time to like put together a little video of it, or maybe I will just kind of feature it a little bit at the beginning of my live tomorrow as well. So any questions anyone has about, um, if they haven't set up their merch shop, I know a lot of people like, um, Teespring and bonfire Teespring. I was, I was having issues being in Canada with it and bonfire. I can't remember. There was something. Oh, I didn't want to have to wait. I don't know. Um, Jess at you can't eat the grass, highly recommended spread shirt. She said she really liked the quality of it. It was easy to work with, easy to use. And they all seem pretty much the same though. I thought, well, I'll go with spread shirt. So that's what I did. So if anyone has any questions or anything like that, now you know what to do. <laughs> And feel free to ask me, like, if you want to figure out how to do anything with the um, red bubble or anything like that for your merch. Hey, Nino and Lo, how are you guys? Are you keeping warm out in Scarrow? A fellow Canadian. Welcome in, welcome in. So, um, yeah, so that's that. And um, this this lady here, Apple, I will be meet, linking... Um, down below, I will be linking all of her, uh, her, her website here, but she's got a lot of like, look how cute these are. These are like a homemade gift bag. So it looks like a little gift bag. It's made out of fabric. These can be reused year after year after year. And, um, she has a list of 45 easy Christmas gifts you can make. <laughs> so I won't go through each of the 45, but, um, you know, from stockings to jewelry organizers, sleep masks. So my daughter, I made some sleep masks, eye masks, um, a few years ago. I just did it cause I thought they were cute. I made them as a stocking stuffer. We made them as gifts for some of her friends. She cannot sleep without it. She has slept with it every night for the past like two years. So I've made her several of them so that <laughs> I'm like, these need to get washed every so often, right? Like you gotta make sure you're washing these, but she absolutely loves the eye mask. And, um, I made myself and my husband one. I only ever use mine when I'm downstairs in the massage chair because then I can just black out everything else around me. And it's, it's really, it's really nice. <laughs> but yeah, little gift bag ideas. These are so, so cute. So that was a great website. Um, I'm also going to just show a couple more really quick. Um, there is this pattern company called made for mermaids and they have all kinds of patterns for men, some men, mainly women and kids, um, clothing patterns, but they have 105 free patterns on their website. And so they've just, they keep adding new ones all the time. They have a cute little bow. Um, can I make this any bigger? Let me see. No, it just gets whiter. Okay. Um, oh, if I do this, hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can do that. Okay. So, oh, that went too big. Oops. Okay. So we have this little bow pillow. We have lanyards, scrunchies, book covers, a towel head wrap thingy, little shower cap, just some really cute ideas, some reusable makeup, felt ornaments. I should try to make these. I've tried making ornaments in the past. I don't know why every time I try to make a, an ornament, whether it's a fabric ornament or um, I've done ones with paint and stuff, they are hideous. Absolutely. <laughs> They're so ugly. I end up just throwing them in the garden, uh, garbage in the garden, not in the garden, garbage. Um, these I think are super cute. This little felt one and my daughter would love the S as well. So this here, it just looks like a blanket stitch on the outside. So that is something like you could literally go and get felt from the dollar store. You could buy yourself a little sewing kit from the dollar store and do just a little hand um, stitch all the way around these little letters. And that would be really cute. It would be a cute little gift idea. Um, it'd be cute to add to the top of a um, gift instead of a bow. You could add a little ornament, um, kind of tie it up on there too. A lot of really cute things you can make with felt. That's that was my gateway into um, into sewing. Actually, um, I had some friends that were making all these really cute little felt cookies and felt food, play food um, for their kids, and um, I was like, oh, well, I can do that. So I, ooh, that's really. Why is that way so big? So look at these. You can make little candy canes. You can make cookies. I mean, look how cute these are. So I made a bunch of, like, I made a little tea set. I made cookies. I made um, 
hot cocoa. I made little cakes, all these cute little things out of felt. And my daughter played with them forever. She had so much fun with them and I worked on them. Like I spent so much time making these. And then like a month after I made all of these, we went to Ikea and didn't Ikea have like these felt made like gift food gift sets, um, for like $5. <laughs> I felt like a bit of a chump, but mine were still way cuter. Um, but like here, you can see they've got carrots. Uh, oh my gosh, these are so cute. And look at this little plate. Oh my gosh. Like what kid wouldn't love to play with that little plate full of... And see like the chocolate chips are made out of buttons and... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. It's so cute. <laughs> I love these things. But my daughter like had so much fun with them. Fabric bows, little hand sanitizer keychain things. So again, if you, even if you don't sew, a lot of these things can be made with, um, just hand stitching. You don't need a sewing machine and, or fabric glue. Or if you have someone that, you know, that does, um, does sew, um, that maybe trying to make a little bit of money on the side. Um, that's, that's nice. And now this one here, this, this pattern came out last year. It was a free pattern that they did last year. <laughs> I made it nice and big. Um, I made these for my daughter and her friends and also I think for the teacher. So this is just a, two little pens that hook on. It's elastic. So it hooks on the front of whatever notepad, notebook, binder, um, anything like that. So I think that's really handy because sometimes you have your notepad. Um, and I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that keep like a notepad nearby where they keep people's names or they write jot stuff down. But it's like, okay, you got your, the chances that you've got your pad and your pen at the same time. If you're anything like me, um, I'm always looking for a pen. So I think this is a really cute idea. Um, and you can keep two little pens. This is a great, great teacher gift idea as well. And I mean, they're just, oh, they're so cute. Anyways, so yeah, I've made those super easy pattern to follow. And again, totally, totally free pattern. And this lady here, see, oh, look at these. Oh my God. Felt breakfast sets. Look at this. Like how cute is that? Like what little kid? isn't going to want to play with that and bring mommy or daddy that for breakfast. Like, oh my goodness. And you know what? These are really great, especially if your kid's a little bit older and you trust them with a needle. <laughs> um, this is really something fun to do together is to make these felt, um, uh, felt cookies, felt food. And, um, instead of sewing things on, you can also just glue, just use Elmer's glue and glue um, the toppings or, you know, little pieces of glitter or whatever, especially if the kids, if you're not worried about them eating them when they get a little older. But I, I don't know. I think these are just absolutely adorable. Great little like gift ideas for toddlers. Um, so yeah, so this, this website here is called Made for Mermaids. I will have it linked down in the description below here for some great gift ideas. Her sister owns her own uh, website and it is called patterns for pirates and she also has a ton of sewing patterns and I will be talking a bit more about these tomorrow because tomorrow night I will probably be wearing one of my dresses that I made from um patterns for pirates I won't go to get into that today so if anyone has any questions or any ideas that they want to add um, to today's live I won't be on here too much longer because the kid will be getting home from school and it's time for me to call my mom so I call my mom every day. Um, I'm hiding that. I'm back. <laughs> I keep forgetting to enlarge it again. <laughs> so I give my mom a quick call every day. They have had a bit of their lockdown again. Um, she is in a retirement home in Anchorage, Alaska, and there has been a case, I believe. Um, so they're just kind of not out, allowed to go out and about. So I'll be giving her a call and see how everyone's doing there. Keep their spirits up. It's been pretty cold. They've got quite a bit of snow, so they're not really going to go anywhere anyways. But I, um, thank you so much, Jesse. I keep, <laughs> I keep forgetting to ask, uh, ask anyone to drop links. I really appreciate that. So I appreciate everyone that came by today and, uh, if you know if you have any questions or if you have any specific um, patterns that you're looking for um, I do have access and I have lists and lists and lists of free patterns for all different kinds of products I am also going to be coming out with my free car seat poncho tutorial that is a pattern I made myself and I will be hosting I will be getting that video out as soon as I finish editing it <laughs> so that's coming out tomorrow night Thursday night at 7 30 Eastern Standard Time. I will be going live 
Um, that's my regularly scheduled live every other Thursday night. And I will be having a few guests on with me. So I will be having Bonnie from Artist in a Garden. And so she's going to be coming on and she's going to be sharing some of her artwork. And we're also going to be, I hope, I don't know, she might bully me into sharing some of my artwork. <laughs> It's really bad. Um, but I try, I try. And so I'm going to be showing some links and some websites of, um, kind of like a paint along with me, um, websites, which are really fun. Uh, it's a really a great idea for, um, kind of like a paint night at home. Then you can drink as much as you want, get those liquor gift cards going and you can drink as much as you want. It's like wine and whatever. I make myself a nice drink. The kid gets a hot chocolate or something. We have some snacks and we sit there for like an hour or two and do like a paint paint along um, video on, uh, on YouTube. So we'll be talking more about that tomorrow night. I'm hoping to also go live Sunday morning and um, we shall see how that goes. I have a few other people. I believe Danny from uh, Wicked Awesome Gardening will be joining me um, Saturday morning. And oh, and I'm hoping Casey from Ormsby Farms is able to pop in um, tomorrow night. He's in between a lot of lives. I think he's going to be on Bland's at nine. So um, we shall see. And I also need to talk to Monica. Um, I think she's doing some kind of a cookie collab thing as well. So there's so much going on right now in the YouTube community. There are so many collabs going on that it's hard to keep everything straight. And I'm doing this crafty collab. I want to get, you know, some handmade, some simple gift ideas out there. I know people really scramble, especially what should I get for teachers? So these are just a few ideas. Um, I just don't want to stress anybody out by putting any more work on their table. So if you are interested in doing a collab and you want to join me in my lives, I'm going to have it an open panel live tomorrow night. Bonnie's going to come up. Whoever else wants to come up, I'll send out a few emails tonight. Um, we can get chatting on that, which is why I didn't use StreamYard today because I want to save my StreamYard hours for the open panel. So, um, yeah, it's been really busy here. I'm trying to keep everything um, going as well. I've done a lot of my sewing and gotten it done and out of the way. So, you know, we've, I'm still working. Uh, so, you know, my work schedule is kind of all over the place. Um, I never really know how long I'm going to be working that day or what the job's going to entail until we get there. So that makes it kind of crazy. And other people are just swamped. It's right before Christmas. I get it. I do not want to be an inconvenience to anybody. That's why I'm keeping these more as lives and just kind of whenever I have the time because I don't want to make people stressed out and have to like pre-record a video or anything like that. It's just too much work. It's so much easier to just come up and chat. So yeah, so keep in mind, um, click that notification bell if you haven't already so that you know when I do go live um, over the next few weeks and um, hopefully you will get to meet some new YouTubers that you don't follow already and you'll be getting some hopefully some good ideas. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming by today. I really appreciate everybody and adios.